Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Boma Greater Dallas Unplugged. Hope you all are doing well. What an exciting week we've had. I don't know about y'all, but most of us started off with snow on Sunday. We did in Mansfield. My boys were super happy to see snow because they don't remember seeing it when they were younger. It was the best kind. Big flakes, wet. Um, didn't do any damage to the trees or make the road slick, so we were ready to go to work on Monday. It was perfect. In the Boma Greater Dallas world, uh, this week I've been working on a lesson plan for our Building Leaders program. If y'all remember, this is a new program that we started two years ago where we chose 10 commercial real estate professionals that have been in the industry for two to seven years, and they're paired up with a mentor. They're also um, learning uh, leadership skills that they can use in the industry and the association, all while all while creating a community within within the Boma Greater Dallas um, Association. So, um, you know, the mentees, like I mentioned, they're paired up with a mentor, one of our top leaders in our um, organization. And um, and so since COVID hit, we decided to give them, give this last year's class another year. Um, it is always a 12 year, 12 month program but considering that they didn't get the opportunity to see each other in person, and then also um, what's so organically that happens organically is that um, not only do they meet with their mentors, but they're also seeing other um, mentors and leaders in their organization. Um, so I'm putting together a new lesson plan, and I'm hoping to um, give them some projects, things that I think I wish that I had when I was um, where they're at. Um, just learning about other buildings, um, just really practicing. I, I'd, I'm a true believer about practice makes perfect, so why not put together some scenarios that they'd have to work through, like working with their chief engineer on a repair, and then they're having to translate that into layman terms to their asset manager. Um, so it'll be interesting, and then I'm going to add in some books for them to read so we can go over it. Um, and, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. So we'll see how that goes. Um, let's go over some reminders and events that you should be registering for. I'm excited for next week's January luncheon. Um, we'll have Kara Pierce, who leads the Texas Attorney General's human trafficking section. She'll discuss the types of human trafficking that occurs in Texas, dispel common myths, about trafficking and explain how the public, especially property owners, can, how they can help combat trafficking. Um, the other thing that's going on, we have um, on the week of January 25th, Boma International will have their winter business meetings. Um, it's, it'll be virtual and it's open to all Boma members. So you can attend meetings, um, committee meetings, kind of see if there's anything that you wanna be involved with. We'll have a keynote speaker on Wednesday, and he is Sebastian Cherry. He's an author and TV host. He'll talk about um, setting goals and what guides him through how he's done. And he's, you know, the way he looks at it, he gains perspective, thinks big, and um, and just be the best we can be at all different levels. So um, it'll be. It sounds like it's going to be an entertaining journey that turns into a philanthropic movement. Registration for winter business is free, so head over to boma.org to do that. February 4th at 10.30, our medical office building will be, committee will be um, having a seminar with Robert Miller with Lock Lord, our Texas Boma lobbyist. He'll speak about how the election results affect the healthcare real estate sector. And then February 5th at 3 p.m., we'll have our virtual awards and Toby banquet. Can't wait for that one. Can't wait to help celebrate who our Lone Star Awards winners are. And then um, last week I mentioned about our Texas Boma Advocacy Day for February 23rd to the 24th. If you haven't been a part of this, this is something, I think this will be a good time to, to check it out because um, Lock Lord will be helping us out, setting up meetings with our legislators, Zoom meetings, I'll say. And, um, but they'll, they'll have the same format that we do when we are in Austin in person. Tuesday, they'll go over the issues, the top priorities that we'll be talking to our legislators about, and then we'll have a cocktail, virtual cocktail party afterwards. Um, 
So it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. I think if you haven't done advocacy day, this is a, a great way to just ease into it, see how it is. And speaking on advocacy, we found out that Belmont International advocated for us to the Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency about including verbiage on about workers who support the operations of commercial buildings as essential workers. So yes, Belma relies on the healthcare officials that make the recommendations for the distributions of the vaccine. However, it is nice to see that DHS did allow this recommendation. So they've provided us a template to use and we'll definitely um, be reaching out to our local county officials to just kind of remind them that we're here as essential workers. Um, so be on the lookout for that for more information. Boma continues to represent us all. And I just, I wanna make sure to remind you guys of those, these little things that um, are creating value to our membership. So that's all that I have for you guys for now. I hope you all have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep up the good work. Thanks.